This is Steve. He just finished installing his shower unit with our new U-tile walls. Now, let's see how he did it. We recommend you watch the video in its entirety and read the entire installation manual before starting to install your U-tile shower. You will need the following tools and supplies for the job. An electric drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, a hole saw, a minimum 24 inch level, a square, a utility knife, a caulking gun with two tubes of clear silicone caulking, a measuring tape, screwdrivers, safety equipment, one pack of wooden shims, one box of number eight one and three quarter inch flathead screws, and a roll of masking tape. When installing a tub shower unit, follow the same instructions as the alcove shower unit shown in this video. Start by opening the shower base box. You'll find a white box containing the drain. Put it aside for now. Next, remove the shower base from its box. You'll also find an installation manual. However, please don't use this one. Instead, open the U-tile back wall box where you'll find two manuals, one for a three-wall alcove shower and one for a two-wall corner shower. Use the one for the type of unit you're installing. In the back wall box, you'll also find a small box with the corner shelf. Put this aside for later installation. Build the alcove according to the dimensions found in the installation instructions. If one is already built, make sure it conforms. Make sure the structure is fully level and square, and that the studs are plumbed before installing the base. When using a level, make sure the bubble is perfectly centered. If your base uses styrofoam, do not use wooden shims to level it. Instead, use self-leveling concrete to get the job done. And don't forget to wait for it to dry before installing the base. Cut out approximately a 6 by 6 inch hole for the drain. Refer to the instructions for the exact positioning of the drain. Do not remove the styrofoam reinforcement under the base. For styrofoam reinforced bases, do not shim under the base. This will render the warranty void. Remove the protective film from the top of the base. We will refer to the fastening flange and the threshold of the base throughout the video. This part is the fastening flange and this is the threshold. When installing the drain on the base, First start by applying a 1 8 inch bead of silicone along the edge of the drain hole in the base. Take the drain apart by unscrewing it. Reassemble the drain on the base making sure the MAX logo is facing frontward. Both gaskets go under the base. Install them in the same order they came in. Lay the base down in the alcove. Push it all the way to the back with the fastening flange against the wall studs. Check the level of the base and make sure it's perfectly level. If not, readjust the flooring with concrete or shims under the base. We recommend having a plumber make the final connection between the drain you've installed on the base and the drain pipe under the floor. Shim the base by filling in the gaps between the base and the wall studs with wooden shims. If the gap is narrow, fit one shim in snugly. If the gap is more pronounced, you can cut a shim in half or use two shims to fill the gap. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill holes in the fastening flange at every wall stud. Only drill through the fastening flange, not the wall studs. Next, fasten the base using a number 8 one and three quarter inch screws. Finish by hand tightening the screws. Do not over tighten the screws. This will crack the fastening flange. Use cardboard on the base floor to protect the base during installation. Cut off all shims at the same height as the fastening flange. Before installing the U-tile walls, lay out all the parts and make sure nothing is missing. There's one parts pack per side wall. So, 
If you have a corner installation, you'll have one parts pack, but if you have a three wall installation, you'll have two parts packs. You'll find one parts pack in each side wall box. Before installing parts on the walls, peel back three or four inches of the protective film on each side of the walls as well as the top and bottom. Installing the U-Lock system parts on the back of the side walls. If you're installing a corner version, you'll only need to install parts on one side of each wall. For a left corner installation, install parts on the left side of the back wall and on the right side of the side wall, and vice versa for a right corner installation. Install three X fasteners on each side of the back wall. Fasten using the screws provided. The holes for installing the parts are already pre-drilled. There are two holes close together. One is a pilot hole to ensure that the X fastener gets put on the right way, and the other hole is to fasten the part to the wall. Fasten three retraction pins per side wall in the pre-drilled holes using the screws provided. The side walls are interchangeable. For a left wall, install the pins on the right side. For a right wall, install the pins on the left side. We suggest temporarily installing the U-tile walls to ensure proper fit and alignment before permanently installing them. Make sure the walls are right side up. The back wall is a bit heavy, so you might want some help lifting and installing it. Put the wall into place by sitting it on the threshold of the base. Push the wall at the bottom so it's flush against the fastening flange of the base. Hold the wall in place. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill holes in the top flange of the back wall. Only drill through the fastening flange, not the studs. Drill a hole at every stud. Next, using a number 8 1 and 3 quarter inch screw, fasten the wall in place temporarily. For corner units, there's only one side wall to install. Follow the instructions for installing a side wall with faucets coming up later in the video. Install the side wall opposite the faucets. Lift the wall approximately 3 inches above the threshold of the base. Push it completely against the back wall. Lower the side wall into position. There are three techniques for lifting the side walls. For the first technique, grab it from the top and side and then lift. For the second, use your leg for leverage and lift it on the side from the front of the installation. For the final technique, simply sit the wall on your foot and lift it over the threshold. Choose the technique that's right for you. After installing the side wall, verify that the grout lines are in line with the ones on the back wall. Verify that the side wall and back wall fit snugly together as shown. There should be no large gap between them. If there is, this could mean that the side wall retraction pins aren't fully engaged in the back wall X fasteners. Hold the wall in place. While using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill holes in the top flange of the side wall. Only drill through the fastening flange, not the studs. Drill a hole at every stud. Using a number 8 1 and 3 quarter inch screw, fasten the wall in place temporarily. Before installing the side wall on the faucet side, you must first measure and drill holes for the faucets. When measuring for the faucets, measure from the face of the back wall and from the threshold of the base to the center of the valve as shown. For hole saw size, refer to the faucet instructions. Measure twice and write it down. Transfer the measurement to the side wall. Measure from the side as shown. Mark the side wall according to the measurements. At the marked position, pre-drill a hole in the side wall with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Drill the hole for the faucet from the front. You can leave the protective film on. Drill at the same position with a hole saw. Drill slowly until the hole saw is fully engaged in the panel. Continue drilling at a higher speed. Repeat the procedure for all other faucet holes, if any. 
Temporarily install the side wall with the faucet hole following the same procedure for the previous side wall. Once again, after installing the side wall, verify that the grout lines are in line with the ones on the back wall. Verify that the side wall and back wall fit snugly together as shown. There should be no large gap between them. Verify that all the walls are plumb and square, making sure the walls are fully pushed against the walls when doing so. If any wall is out of plumb, mark where you'll be shimming during the final installation phase. Remove all the walls in order to permanently install them. Clean all sides of the base threshold with a dry rag. Run a 1 8 inch bead of silicone along the back of the base at 3 8 of an inch from the back flange. Run the bead the entire length of the base as well as about 1 inch on each side. Position the back wall on the base, setting it directly onto the silicone. Avoid sliding the wall around afterward as this could remove the silicone. Check the level of the wall. Hold it with your foot at the bottom and fully fasten the back wall to the studs. Run a 1 8 inch bead of silicone along one side of the back wall just before the rounded edge. Run a 1 8 inch bead of silicone along the same side on the base at 3 8 of an inch from the side fastening flange as shown. If you're installing a three wall alcove unit, Follow the same procedure for the other side of the installation. Install both side walls on the base, setting them directly onto the silicone. Avoid sliding the walls around afterward as this could remove the silicone. Make sure that the side walls are plumb. If not, shim them before fully fastening them to the wall studs. Hold them with your foot at the bottom and fully fasten each side wall to the studs. Remove all protective coverings on the U-tile walls. Open the glass shelf box that you previously set aside. You will find a cardboard drilling template. Fold the template as indicated and set it in the desired shower corner. Slide it up or down to the desired height. Mark the drilling positions. Drill the holes with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Wipe the shower and base clean with a dry rag. Before applying the final silicone, apply masking tape about 1 8 of an inch on both sides of the joints where you will apply the silicone. Apply a 1 8 inch bead of silicone along all joints where the walls come in contact with the base and each other. Dipping your finger frequently in very soapy water, Use it to remove all excess silicone. Once you have finished applying and removing the excess silicone, you can remove the masking tape. Apply silicone to the rear of the shelf brackets. Fasten the brackets in place using the screws provided. Place the shelf onto the brackets with the logo facing up. Align and insert washers and support caps into the holes in the glass shelf. Make sure they're sitting flat on the glass surface. If not, turn them slightly clockwise until they fall into place. Fasten using the screws provided. Extra shelves are available at your local dealer if you need more storage space. When installing the faucet faceplate, be sure to silicone the outer edge. Remove excess silicone with your finger, dipped in soapy water as previously shown. After finishing, Steve installed a beautiful Max door to match his new U-Tile shower. Both the Max Halo and Reveal doors can be installed with the U-Tile walls.